Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a star burst in this tutorial. This tutorial will be done with Miriam from Fabulous Rainbow Loom Creations. For this video, you'll need your loom, your clip of your choice, your hook, and the rubber bands you want to use. In this video, you need enough bands to go all the way up the loom and enough for the stars in the middle. We recommend black or white for your outline colour. It stands out really well. We'll be using black. For the stars in the middle, we'll be using orange, blue, red, neon yellow and pink. Now, now let's get started. In this video, you will not need three straight rows. You'll need to pop out the middle row carefully and put it just one ahead of the other two. And that's how your loom should look. Let's loom it up. For this video, the arrow needs to be pointing ahead of you. Get your rubber band and put it on the, the first peg diagonal to the second peg on the left. Now what you need to do is go all the way up till the MPEG. Pause the video here. We'll, 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 we'll be back. Your loom should look like this. Don't go up to the first peg. You need to go onto the diagonal peg. Like that. Now we go back to the beginning and we get our rubber band diagonal to the right peg. And now you go all the way up like we did before. And remember, do not go to the peg ahead of it. Go on to the go on to this peg. We'll be back. Pause the video. Don't go to the peg ahead of it. Go on to the diagonal peg. Your loom should look like this. Now we'll be showing you how to do the stars in the middle. For the first star, we will be using neon yellow. With your first rubber band, don't put it on the middle peg, put it on the one just above it and put it to the one diagonal to it so it looks like that. Then take the next band, put it from the middle peg again, just to the one diagonal to that. Then take the other another band and put it from the bottom one to the middle one. Push it down and then take another band and put it from the diagonal one to the middle one. Take another band, put it from the one to the diagonal one, and just like you did before, put the middle one to the top one. Then just push your bands down so you have more space for the capping bands. For our next star, we will be using neon orange. You can use any colour of your choice. We'll show you one more time and then we'll fast forward it. So you take your neon orange and you put it from the middle peg to the diagonal peg. Make sure that you do it from those two pegs, not any others. Then you take from the middle peg to the side peg, diagonal one again, and from the top to the bottom, from the middle to the diagonal, from the middle to the diagonal again, and from the top to the bottom. Now I'll be fast forwarding it, so if you need any more help, just look back at the other two stars we've done already. And, pa and pause it here. We've done our next star, which is neon pink. We've done our next star, which is jelly blue. We have done our next star, which is jelly purple. On the last star again, just go up from the top to the bottom. The colours we've been using are neon yellow, neon orange, neon pink, jelly blue, jelly purple and red. Now we'll be placing a capping band at each point at the, top, at the bottom of the loom and in the middle of each star. Thank you. 
Now you'll be using your crochet hook. So you take your hook, you push past the cat band, and you take that red band and just unhook it and rehook it to the middle peg. Then you go in and take that band, you grab it on your hook, and then you unhook it and rehook it round to the pen di peg diagonal to it. Then you go in and take that band there on your hook and you unhook it and rehook it to the peg diagonal to it. Then you just want to go in, get the middle one and just unhook it and rehook it to the one in front. Then go and get the diagonal one, unhook it and rehook it. And same with the last one, unhook it and rehook it. The shape should look something like this. Next you want to go in and get the purple band and you want to go up like that. And you want to go in, get that band, like shown on your hook, and you want to unhook it and rehook it to the band diagonal. And you want to get to that other band, unhook it and rehook it to the band diagonal. And you want to get that band, unhook it and rehook it to the band in front. Then you want to get the next band, unhook it and rehook it to the band diagonal, and same on the other side. We'll be fast forwarding your this um, video here. Pause it if you need to, and also you can go back to copy the other times we've been doing the stars. Once you've done the stars, your loom should look something like this. Then you want to go back to the start, go into the cat band, push it back, and get that outline colour. Unhook it and rehook it to the back to the peg in front. I mean diagonal to it. Then you want to go in to get that band there, and you want to, the black to unhook it and rehook it to the peg in front. Just carry on going all the way up and pause the video here so you can catch up. Going up, your loom should look like this. On the last one, you want to go into the yellow band and grab the, bl the um, black band, unhook it and rehook it to the peg at the middle. Then go back all the way down to the bottom, go in again, unhook it and rehook it to the side one, and go in and just go all the way up, unhooking and rehooking it. Pause the video here as we will be fast forwarding. Your loom should look like this. And remember, make sure all the bands are hooked on to each peg. Otherwise, when you take it off, it will go wrong. This is what your loom should look like. Make sure all your rubber bands are hooked, otherwise when you take it off, your rainbow loom bracelet will break. Take your crochet hook and put it through all the rubber bands. Get a band and put all of it through, just like that. And now carefully take it off. Be very careful, otherwise it will break. A band may snap. And that's what your bracelet should look like after the end result. Now the extension. Turn your loom back round so the arrow is pointing up. Get a rubber band. We're using black for our extension. You get one rubber band, put it up. Well, it depends how big your wrist is, but we're using five bands then we're putting this band on so if you have a small wrist i'd use about four to five a big adult size wrist i'd use about it's up to you seven to eight okay and now you turn your loom around and you get you get the end of your rubber band what was on your crochet hook and you put it forward like that. Take your starburst bracelet off carefully off the crochet hook and put it like this. And if if it may be easier for you, stretch stretch it out just like this, like a rubber band. And now what you need to do is you need to get this rubber band and put it forward. Get that rubber band forward, get this rubber band forward, 
get the next rubber band forward and the next rubber band forward. This is what the extension should look like. Now get the last rubber band and place it to a little triangle. Now get your C-clip and make and put it through the rubber band. Make sure every band is on it, otherwise your extension will fall apart. Now you can take it off. And now where the little capping band is, you hook it onto there. Just like that. That's your finishing Starburst bracelet. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys!